Imagine this. You're sitting in front of your screen, late at night, headphones on, the glow of the terminal reflecting in your eyes. You've watched hundreds of videos, read dozens of blogs, maybe even downloaded Kaylee Linux, thinking you're ready to conquer the hacking world. But then reality hits you. You type your first command, and nothing works. You see an error, then another, and slowly, frustration creeps in. This is where most beginners fall apart. They think hacking is magic a few tools, some dark terminal commands, and suddenly they are anonymous. But hacking is not a movie. There's no background music, no instant mastery, no shortcut. And this is where 90% of people fails. Not because hacking is impossible, but because they stop before they even start. They fail because they chase tools without understanding how systems actually work. They copy-paste commands without knowing what they mean. They watch 5-minute hack Facebook videos and think they will become elite. But here's the truth. Without hands-on experience, you're nothing but a script kitty. This craft demands obsession. Hours inside Linux, breaking things, fixing them setting up your own vulnerable labs, running exploits, watching packets flow through Wireshark, scanning targets with Nmap until 4 a.m., and understanding why one tiny misconfigured port can open an entire system. If you're here to look cool, hacking will break you. If you're here to learn, it will transform you. Because tools aren't magic, they're extensions of your mind. Kaylee Linux, Parrot OS, Nmap, Metasploit, Burp Suite, Wireshark, John the Ripper, Hashcat, GoBuster, Netcat. These aren't shortcuts. They're weapons. But a weapon is useless if you don't know where to aim. You can run Nmap all day, but if you don't understand what an open port actually means, you're blind. You can fire up Burp Suite, but if you don't know how HTTP requests work, you're just pressing buttons and hoping for chaos. Real hackers don't hope. Real hackers build maps in their minds. They understand every packet, every service, uh, every vulnerable endpoint before they touch the keyboard. And then there's Metasploit, the tool everyone worships. But here's the truth. If you don't understand the exploit, Metasploit is just noise. Wireshark will show you every packet, every heartbeat of the network. But if you can't read it, if you can't see what's hiding inside, you're lost. Tools give you reach. Knowledge gives you power. But this isn't just about tools, it's about hands-on chaos. Build your own lab, set up virtual machines, break them, fix them, and break them again. Fire up a vulnerable machine on Metasploitable or DVWA. Launch an exploit, watch it fail, debug it, and learn why it failed. Stay up until 4 a.m. watching packet captures, chasing the missing piece, the single mistake that stopped your reverse shell from landing. That's where hackers are made. Not in YouTube comments, but in sleepless nights with broken terminals and burning curiosity. And here's the part most beginners never understand. Your addiction starts small. The first time you crack a password with Hashcat, the first time you bypass Windows Defender with a payload you built yourself, the first time you land a reverse shell using Netcat, your heart races. That's the moment you realize, this isn't just commands on a screen, this is control. And that rush? That's why hackers keep going. That's why we can't stop. But don't mistake the rush for the reward. The real reward is mastery. It's when you don't need Google to tell you why something failed. It's when you can craft your own payloads. When you can read a CVE and instantly visualize the exploit chain. When you understand not just how to hack, but why it works. And to get there, you can't just learn tools. You need to learn systems. You need to know Windows internals, Linux permissions, networking protocols, privilege escalation paths, kernel exploits. Because hacking isn't about pressing buttons, it's about seeing connections no one else sees. Every protocol you understand makes the next exploit easier. Every failure teaches you something the next beginner will never know. Every sleepless night you spend digging into vulnerabilities pushes you one step closer to becoming the hacker you imagined on day one. Because here's the brutal reality, most people will quit. They'll run two commands, get two errors, and they'll blame the tutorial, close the terminal, and jump to the next shiny hack. But if you push through, if you embrace the grind, if you make cybersecurity your addiction, the game changes. You stop learning hacking. You start thinking like a hacker. And once your mindset flips, so there's no going back. Hacking is hard because it's supposed to be. This world doesn't hand out root access like candy. You earn it. You'll fail commands a hundred times before you succeed once. You'll misconfigure services, crash systems, lock yourself out, lose access, and rage quit at 4 a.m. But guess what? That's the point. Hackers aren't born with skills. Hackers are forged in failure. And here's the hardest truth. If you can't fall in love with this painful, chaotic, obsession-driven process, you won't survive here.
But if you do, if you embrace the grind, make hacking your addiction, and keep going when others quit, you won't just learn hacking, you'll become unstoppable. And yet, there's a reason the ones who don't quit stand above the rest. They understand that tools are weapons, but knowledge is the ammo. Learn Kali, Parrot OS, or even build your own Linux playground. Dive into Burp Suite, Metasploit, Wireshark, and Map, and Netcat. Not because the tool is powerful, but because you understand why it's powerful. And when you combine that knowledge with certifications like Security Plus, CEH, or OSCP, you're not just learning, you're proving yourself in a battlefield where only the obsessed survive. Skills are blood. You don't become a hacker by memorizing theory. You become one by breaking systems and rebuilding them until your fingers know the commands before your brain does. And this is where the addiction begins. Once you get your first reverse shell, once you escalate your first privilege, once you own a system you had no access to minutes ago, you'll understand why hackers never quit. That rush, that silence in the room, when your payload lands successfully, you'll never forget it. That's why you need to make cybersecurity your obsession your addiction. Because if you treat it like a hobby, you'll quit the moment it gets hard. But if you treat it like oxygen, like survival, like the thing you need to breathe, nothing can stop you. So don't be the beginner who gives up after watching five tutorials. Don't be the one who learns tools without touching them. And if you stay consistent, one day you'll wake up and realize you're not learning hacking anymore. You are the hacker. So if you're ready to dive into this rabbit hole, hit that subscribe button right now. Because this isn't just another channel, this is your training ground. And the next video I drop, it might just change the way you see hacking forever. See you in the next one.